So with me here this afternoon, your father Travis Moyo, the parish priest of St. Gerard, is going to share with us about Catholic priesthood. Tomorrow we are going to celebrate Holy Thursday, where we celebrate the institution of the two sacraments, the sacraments of holy orders and the sacrament of the Eucharist. Father Moyo, welcome. Thank you for having me. So could you please tell us your understanding of Catholic priesthood? I think over the years we have seen a transition in terms of how priesthood is understood. Now we are at a, a critical moment where even our understanding of priesthood is fluid, but I am convinced that at the heart of priesthood is service, and priesthood itself is a gift. None of us deserves to be a priest and is given to us freely by God. And this is a gift that is given so that we ourselves can save our brothers and sisters in the church. And for me, that's what is at the heart. Service is what is at the heart of the priesthood. And what is your understanding of priesthood today? My understanding of priesthood today is maybe being called to do something more than we have been doing. To be very close to the people, as Pope Francis will say, and also to have an eye and an ear of what is happening around us so that we can respond in a more appropriate manner. How long have you been a priest? Uh, in eight days' time, I'll be 15 years old. And what has been your experience like for the past years? I have enjoyed the years I've spent as a priest in many different ministries and the journey, many journeys that priesthood has taken me to. But all that has brought a lot of joy to me is that wherever you go as a Catholic priest, there seems to be no shortage of what's to be done. And for me, particularly as a redeemed priest, the proclamation of the Word of God is what has been my joy. Can you share with us some few challenges that you have faced so far in this ministry? Yes, uh, I have never very felt very inadequate as in, I remember when I was in Australia, there was a South Sudanese community, and when they met me, being from Africa, they asked me to join with them in celebrating the Eucharist. So twice a month, I will join them. And what I struggled was, with was, they used Arabic. I learned to read Arabic, just for a short time, so that I could manage to say masses. But strictly speaking, I didn't understand what I was reading. And I found that very challenging, the poverty of language. And um, <clears throat> can you tell us your strength? in this ministry as a priest, where are your strengths? That's a very challenging question. Um, I'm not sure whether it's a strength, but I, I think maybe it's something that somehow I find God has given to me. I am able to reflect on the realities that happen around me. And in my ministry, I try it also more or less speak to those realities, but informed by, by my reflection. Okay. Thank you. I might take you back again uh, concerning your ministry. You serve in a parish where there are people of high profile. How do you manage them? I think the bottom line when it comes to us Christians we are all sons and daughters of God. And one of the things that has struck me is that as soon as we think of ourselves as brothers and sisters, whatever we are, we are outside the church, somehow falls away when we get to the church. And my experience also informs me that no matter who people are, when it comes to serious matters of faith, 
we are all the same. And that has been my check in terms of my ministry and my service to the community. Thank you very much, Father Moore. Thank you for sharing that. Happy Easter, Thank you so much. Happy Easter to you too.